I honestly don't think anything's wrong with going out with my friends, dating new and interesting people. I think it's great. I was a mom and a wife at 20. I never got a chance to experience what a normal 20 year old would do. Now I'm focusing on me. I had low self-esteem my entire life. And now I have young guys wanting to go out with me, date me, buy me drinks. My confidence has gone through the roof. Does dating make me a slut? I don't think so. I am entitled to go out and have some great discoveries and adventures. Jamie has an issue with me dating, and I don't understand why. This is part of moving on. When I found out about Tyler's affair, we tried to work things out for two years. I could do it. I had five full-blown affairs. I just was distracting myself myself from the pain that I was suffering and I wanted him to hurt just as bad as he had hurt me. My friends and family don't understand it all. They expect me to stay home and bake cookies every night. I feel I've been a very good mom to all three of my kids. It's my turn to be a little bit selfish. I think people need to understand that and cut me some slack. They are concerned, frankly, that you've gone over the high side, that you've just lost control and are putting yourself at risk and have essentially abandoned your daughter. And what I heard you say on the tape is that you, you obviously were hurt by what your husband did and yes. that you've had low self-esteem all your life, but now you say your self-confidence is through the roof. It is. Tell me about that. What Tyler did to me was quite intense and I never felt I was worth anything um, after he did that to me. And the attention was phenomenal um, that I had not received ever before. Mm -hmm. So it kind of the made me look different. The attention from who? From the men that he had me date, yeah. The men who had you date? Well, my husband wanted me to date um, to pawn me off on someone so he could leave and marry his girlfriend. Did anything about that seem odd to you? <laughs> yeah, it did. It, I mean, after 20 years of marriage, it really, really seemed odd to me. It, it blew my mind. But I was in such a desperate point to have attention, pretty much, from being alone when he worked and I lived, you know, across the country, from being alone all the time. I was in a point to where, okay, someone take me out to a movie. Someone, you know, take me to dinner, I, I, I don't care. And that was his bright idea. It was his bright idea, but you went along with it and you were okay with it. And when I would talk to you over and over again and say, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, you were like, I just need the attention. So you said somebody take you to a movie, but you actually didn't go see. A movie. Oh, I went to movies and went to dinner and shows and regular dating stuff. Went to the mall, went shopping, regular dating stuff, too. Yeah, I heard about your shopping, too. <laughs> On one of those shopping trips, isn't it true that you went into a dressing room and performed a sex act on someone you met on the internet? We were dating, yeah. We had been dating. You had dated, like, twice. A couple times yeah. we had dated, yeah. yeah. That was right after I found out about the affair. You're, you're in a dressing room in a shop, in a store. Tell me about this self-esteem confidence that's going through the roof, you well, say? That I was getting attention that I had never received.